Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Look at this. I, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the first one of these that's ever come across my bench. 7C43-6020. It's like a, it's like a baby Arnie with, uh, but it doesn't have any kind of an LCD on it. 7C43, so it's the same basic movement as the 7C46. Uh, the movement that Seiko still uses all the way up to today for their tunas. They decided that it was, you know, solid movement and they've stuck with it. 200 meters, unidirectional. And it goes a little stiff. Come on, come on. Definitely, it's a little stiff. This watch is in fantastic condition for the age that it is. This is probably going to be, I would assume, 1992. It's cool. Uh, just brief history lesson for anybody who's wondering about this. Uh, Seiko went from the... Uh, in the 80s, 70s and 80s, they used this, they used the 7C, I'm sorry, they used the 7548 movements. 7549, 7548, 7546, 7545, and the Pulsar uh, Y514. One, one all the way down to the next. But then, in about 1988, they put that to one side and they made a uh, they made a, a new movement, still all metal, still jeweled, not quite as complicated, didn't have a trimmer, for example, to adjust the time. Seven Cs are accurate enough on their own that they, they do have a couple little wires that you can trim to cut, literally to, to make it so that you uh, can adjust the accuracy, but they're almost never used. It looks like this probably got a battery in 2018, either February or July 2018, but that's still past a service date. We don't know if this thing ever got a service. Real typical. This is this is how the 7Cs are. They have this big, big old magnetic plate right here with, an, with a warpy spring, spring ring there. Yeah, they're well-made movements. They really are. I would assume that this has never been serviced. A little bit of somebody's fingerprint there. So I'm guessing it looks like if I had to guess that the battery died and you um, pulled the battery and now we're now we're looking at two in the battery and you want to go further and get it serviced, which is obviously something that I'm going to support. You know, quartz movements their their trains are not stressed, but give it enough time and they'll act like they are. Interesting, same exact handset as this 7C43. Is this one? 7C43 7C4, 6000. This is a mid size version of the slim case style for the 7548s. They never, they never made a slim case smaller version of this. They did for the 7Cs. These are 150s and they have bi directional. But the handsets you'll notice are exactly the same. Same exact handset. This is a, this is a pretty watch. It's got some it's got some it's got some wrist presence for sure. I'm not actually putting it on. Definitely, it's got some wrist presence. I have a question. I look at the shroud. See these lines? 
Is this a modern 3D print of that shroud? It looks like it cracked here when getting put on. And it got glued back together. I'm absolutely sure that the the availability of a original replacement shroud is zero. So I'll look at that. I'll just I'll I'll do the best I can to not make that any worse. Nice strong clicks. Your day and date are no, they're not misaligned. They looked like they were from here, but that was just the shadow. Case back isn't screwed down all the way, which is probably why its movement is shifting. Screws down smoothly the, all the way. I just want to look at something real quick. This is not what I'm doing. They really are cool. I'm going to have to look into those. I don't know much about them. Because it's a good size, it's a wearable size. Yep, look at that. I just wanted to look and see. These have a short, tight case back, so they don't have a battery retaining strap. We got even the uh, even the pulsar has one. Okay, I want to get a uh, battery real quick and just see if this thing fires. Just realized I never tested the movement. Yep, ticking over, and it's hitting the marks, which is good. Okay, so I'll put this battery to one side because that's a freshie, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool. Well, it should be relatively straightforward servicing. Uh, in case we build the seals and all that it would be a nice watch not like it isn't already a nice watch there you go 7C43 6020 looking forward to it thank you